Okay, I think we're back online. I'm not sure. I have to get around to this side of the place and I have to go over to here and see if there's another live video going on because I changed channels again. Okay, so yes, I guess there's another live video going on. So I hope you guys can hear me and I had to say goodbye to Jared Smith without you guys. So uh, thanks, Jared, for visiting, and um, what happened was, is somebody sent me a text message during the broadcast, and it gave priority to the text messages rather than the Facebook video, because I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm just, I'm just, I don't know, I'm kind of a screw-up. But you guys knew that. And I lost the whole audience now. <laughs> and I also lost um, um, the poets and stuff. Dave. Okay. And I can't go back and retrieve what I need to retrieve. Click to expand. And the poet's not there. Sorry, right, copied on the poet's phone number wrong from the other feed. And if I go off of this, then I'm going to lose. I go off of this to retrieve the. Um, then, okay, I changed channel. Change channel. Re did it. <laughs> okay, we got some audience back. Uh, I don't know who we got back. Uh, we got, um, I don't know. Put ad books. Yes. Okay. <laughs> How are you? Okay. I'm going to put you on speakerphone really quick. Hi. I, I, what happened was I, I, I got a text in the middle of the, of the filming because I'm using my cell phone to film and it cut the video off. So we're back online, but we um we back at we're back online, but we um don't have <laughs> our audience like we had before. Um, oh man, it's been good. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Yeah. We're good. We're good. So is everything going okay with you? Yeah, I got I got an idea for a poem, actually. Okay, give us a poem. Do you have one in front of you? Yes, I can hear you. Thank you. 
Thank you, Kathy. I'm glad you're I'm glad you're doing okay and let's try to keep poetry alive and I'm gonna try to keep on doing stuff like this. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Thank okay. You. Bye. Bye. Oh. Okay. Uh, due to technical difficulties, this is technically difficult, but not impossible. If I shut up notices, maybe this will work. Hello, 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 hello. Buck Rogers calling Jupiter. Buck Rogers calling Jupiter. Come in, Jupiter. Are you there? Are you there? Are you there, Jupiter? Are you there, Jupiter? Hi. This is harder than I thought. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put you on speakerphone. Okay. No, I. Hi there. Hi, I'm, I never did anything like this before. This is a spur of the moment thing. This is Janet Kuiper's level of technology, and I'm no good at it. <laughs> yeah, well, hello. It is wonderful to talk to the man that I gave my poetry open mic to. It is a shame that it cannot be running now because we have to be socially distant. But it's wonderful to hear from you. Well, How is life in Chicago? Life in Chicago is strange days but you know it, it's 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 okay you know we're here we're here yeah. to talk about poetry we're here not to talk about infections <laughs> yeah the lake yeah. is the lake is closed and, the and bars are closed actually, something um i i noticed that buddha they, they put up a post for a uh, uh poetry bomb that it should be a social bomb we're doing because, a social you know, you bomb you shouldn't be leaving the house yes and and since I had decided, because since coming here, I've taken over running a once monthly poetry open mic in Austin that I've called Poetic License. That is the first Sunday of every month. Last month was the first month that I couldn't be out in public, and I'm also going to do it in May because we have to be shut in again. But I will have a Facebook event page for it, and anybody can post up anything. And I'm going to do live. Um, video feeds of myself reading poetry, and I'm also going to way do that for the poetry bomb as well. Okay, so because you know what else am I gonna do? You may only a link for it. I'll put it in the next put ahead newsletter. Um, I mean, as I, I'm I'm trying to fit this in between everything else I'm doing. But can you give us a poem? Um, well, the only 
thing I can think of is when I think of you, I'm going to think of the first poem I ever wrote because I have to think of some fun childhood thing, and that is my poem, Under the Sea. Okay. Which goes like this, and, I, and it's the only one that I'll say that I've written that rhymes and that I'm proud of. This is Under the Sea. I'd like to be under the sea to watch the fish go swim. I'd like to squish a jellyfish and then let go of him. I'd like to grab a soft-shell crab and take him for a walk. I'd like to hurdle over a turtle and teach <laughs> dolphins to talk. I I'd like to see a manatee and then go play by him. I I'd like to do all of these things. <laughs> if only I could swim. <laughs> <laughs> I... I think there's a video of me reciting your poem on the Pudding Head you uh, YouTube did, channel. You because I thought that was so perfectly appropriate if you were to perform that. I could do other ones that are more heavy and downbeat if you wanted, but I thought I'd give you something well, we'll, light and we'll, upbeat. We'll, 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 do it, or, we'll do it in the future. Okay. Most okay. definitely. I, yeah, John happened to find it. I'm like, what? So we had to get our phones queued up and so that I could find you. And and yay. And yay for poetry and trying to spread and share somehow, anyhow, okay. or something. My, my definitely. My, 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 and and, and uh, you should tell people in Chicago to look for the phrase poetic license on Facebook because I will have a Facebook event page for it in the beginning of May as well, which means it will be an event page that anybody can post anything to, and I'm going to be doing live video streams as well as posting videos, and everybody is welcome to share with that as well. I know I'm all the way in Austin, Texas, but um, everybody is welcome. So, And it was cool because when I was first doing it, I'm like, wow, people are giving a shout out uh, from Chicago while I was doing this uh, or in, in Tennessee and I'm like that's the coolest thing so so um, look for the phrase poetic license on Facebook for anybody okay. that's interested S for the next open mic for poetic me license from me <laughs> Chicagoan I can't say one Chicagoan Janet, 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 um, I would love to hear from anyone. Send me a link. Send me a link. I'll put it in the next newsletter. Okay, anyways, I got another poet I need to call. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Janet. Mwah. Austin, Texas. Thank you. Um, I, I'm trying to you know, recover from these technical difficulties. And I really need to fix this thing here. And I'm not sure how to do that. So... Instead of fixing that, I'm going to try to call another poet. She's doing some work right now. But I hope she's done by now. Chicago area poet. Ex-Chicago, and she lives in the suburbs right now. So, um, but we've done lots of stuff together. We edited, a, she edited, I published a magazine called Star Wallpaper for Kids. And it ran for 15 years. And I joined, like, in the number uh, 10 um, edition of it. And what we would do is we would gather poetry from all fifth graders in the city, from uh, students in the city from fifth grade all the way to, um, and she's not home. <laughs> Hi, Kimberis. This is Dave Getchick. If you could call me right now, you were the nightcap poet on the poetry reading here. So if you give me a call right now, uh, that'd be great. If not, I will talk to you later. And uh, hugs and kisses. Bye. So let's see if Kim calls me back. If she calls me back on that phone, though, uh, this might just blow us off the air again. So anyways, I intended to do this for an hour. I did it for, um, you know, just a little bit more. If anybody has a comment, uh, leave me a comment in the feed. And I know that uh, we were rolling along pretty well and things kind of got screwed up. And I, my original intention was not to have drop-in poets, but we had a couple poets that sent me their phone numbers, so I dropped them in there because uh, I want to have, like, like set up poets ahead of time. 
to, to come and read. Even though I don't want it to seem that way. I don't want anything to seem scripted. So I'm just going to do it like, 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 like crazy. Um, anyways, and I want to thank everybody for coming. And I think I need to fix the technical difficulties here. I think there's some little problems with sound. I haven't heard the thing yet. And my lighting in my back screen is, is kind of screwed up. Uh, but by the way, this is Plenty Head Manor. You're in my office. Uh, I do all kind of strange and unusual and bizarre stuff here. Uh, I talk to John Dixon when I get lonely. Um, hi, John. Thanks for your poetry. Uh, and, you know, we're going to read some of your poetry next time I do something like this. I don't know when I'm going to do something like this, but John, you've been an inspiration to me. Uh, that was the, that was, the, oh, I'm looking at the screen here. Where, where are the people? Where are the people? There are no people. Um, anyways, people, thanks for coming. And, um, I don't know. Let me fix my technical difficulties, but I might be back on next Monday night. I'm not sure yet. And, uh, I've been talking to some people about maybe being guests that night. So, uh, anyways. I'm going to take my hat off for all of, to all of you for coming and listening, and I throw it at you.